Rahul is saying Armin complained, yet he hates Modi and Yogi. Oh my god, you're such a moron, Rahul. You're such a moron. You have no idea what you're talking about. Yeah, no, they're not fighting this. They're actually making this a lot worse. You can't show a face to Muslim. Yeah, no, you're a bigot. You're a, you're you're the far right bigot that is actually a bigot. You that are like me, I just dozed off when you were talking there. Let me summarize it. France is just acting like a state. You guys are just the same people from the other side. Pimp. And I did mention a few problems that are plaguing France, but now nah, forget about that. As Macron saying, our way of life is perfect, mate. Uh, he said the problem is not secularism in france uh, he yeah. said this is our values this is not the problem the problem is what yeah your values are superior to islamic values okay and get rahul their france's values are also inferior uh, in, in, uh, superior to your hindutva values okay so france's values is superior to both islamic values and hindutva values right so if it was hindutva growing in France, secular, the secularism in France needs to defeat that as well, okay? So, yeah, Hindutva is not a good solution to the rise of Islamism. It actually makes it worse. He described as Islamist separatism. What? Yeah, no, what? Yeah, Islamic separatism. I exactly, it's exactly that, okay? So, he, good job, I didn't, yeah, defend your secular values, Macron, thank you so much. Thank you for finally somebody having the balls to not be to to actually fighting as you know islam the growth of, of islamic influence without actually being a bigot right this is how it started i mean right india take notes this is how it started you actually care for muslims you're not being um you're trying to protect your muslim citizens from their parents and you're trying to make sure that they could they're not radicalized and they could feel part of french society okay this is how somebody that is not part of the far right bigots, just like Modi or the Hindutva, they are they are noticed that their Islamism is a big problem in the country, and they're trying to address it in a rational way. And they're not trying to fight bigotry with bigotry. They're trying to fight bigotry with secularism. Bro, what are you talking about, man? And this is where. This mug has gone way too far. L'Islam est une religion qui vit une crise aujourd'hui partout dans le monde. Pigeon-hearted, pusillanimous weasel. I think this mug is getting Islam confused with Muslim. Islam is based upon the Quran and wait, what did he say that they didn't like? Islam is a religion that is in crisis. Yeah, it, yeah. Qui vit une crise. I mean, thankfully so. It should be in crisis. It should end. Aujourd'hui partout dans le monde. Pigeon-hearted, pusillanimous weasel. I think this mug is getting that's Islam funny. confused with Muslim. Islam nope. is based upon the Quran and... The yeah, that's the problem. It's based on the Quran. That's what makes it so horrible. The sayings and actions of the Prophet, peace be upon him. While that's also what makes it even more horrible. Whilst Muslims, on the other hand, of course, are corruptible by, you know, society. By Islam. Yes, they are corruptible by Islam. But thankfully, most Muslims have not been fully corrupted by Islam. Most Muslims are a lot better than Islam. Most Muslims are better than Islam, okay? So these idiots, they think like, oh yeah, Islam is perfect, but Muslims are corrupt. But we actually think the exact other way around. We think that most Muslims are great people because they haven't been fully taken over by Islam, right? Because they're too good. Most Muslims are too good to be fully corrupted by Islam. Oh, 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 what the oh, God, the humor on this channel sucks. Maybe it's just me, I don't know, but... but... What this guy is doing is recycling an argument that's been done 10 years ago. Yeah, it could have worked 10 years ago, but now people are a bit more knowledgeable to the fact that, you know what, this media is... You no, know, yeah, most, most people are actually becoming more knowledgeable how crap your religion is. Even, guys, here's the thing. It used to be, it used to be right-wing people and many leftist people, left-leaning people thought Islam seems to be like a problematic religion, and a lot of woke people thought like, no, Islam is great and wonderful and all of a sudden, right? I'm noticing that even among the woke, Stani Mujahideen is now becoming more like half and half, right? So even among uh, the woke. 
and the, a lot of them are realizing like yeah we can't get behind this <laughs> right this is how bad it's getting like this is how obvious it's becoming um i'm i mean maybe i'm wrong because my again i don't i didn't scientifically collect this data this is just my impression based on the uh, the content creators that i follow so this is definitely not a guaranteed metric at all so it's just a hypothesis it's not a theory okay but this is what i this is what i'm this is what i'm getting the fact that you know what this media is you know this clear disparity that's taking place in the media against islam but nope. of course nope it's the other way around it's because Sorry. of the growing far right and the adherents to the far right are mostly the you know the lower class yeah because the lower class don't have the facilities to educate themselves on geopolitics and a history of these issues. It's the other way around. The more people are educated about Islam, the more they hate it. Because they are becoming the majority of the vote base, governments are now changing their stance to cater more for the far right. But Macron, you know as well as I do, it's not Islam that's causing these issues. It's the West's obsession with Islam. Let me. Oh my God, you fucking you God damn it. God damn those people. Give you a few points here. Yeah? Let's start off with the creating of fake propaganda content. Ah, uh, here comes the what about is them and the what about is them. And all you have to do is search Bell Pottinger, mm. not to mention the West clearly admitting that they have supported groups like Al Qaeda and ISIS. God, this has nothing to do with Macron's addressing a problem in France. Yes, the West has done something th things wrong. Yes, Western countries have done many mis have done many mistakes. What has it got to do? This doesn't mean that Islamism is not a problem in France that doesn't need addressing. What does this got to do with the problem? And we know that this guys, was, this is just pure what about This was growing. We were watching. We saw that that Dash was growing in strength. Look at these people think they got me by calling me like look at this. Oh look, Armin the idiot again. These people they this is all they have and they think I'm the idiot. This is all, this is their best takes. This is their best comebacks against what I have to say, and they think I'm the idiot. And we thought Assad was threat. Uh, oh, we okay. thought, however, we could probably manage. Uh, you know that Assad might then negotiate. We had this brilliant idea that we were going to come to Pakistan and create a force of mujahideen, equip them. Okay, look at this. Okay, here. He, let me read this. I agree with every with you with you everything wrong with Modi's way of dealing with Islamism, but give them credit for abolishing triple talaq in India by using secularism in Parliament last year. Guess what, R R Y two K? Guess what? I did. I did give them credit for that. I said that was a good move. I'm. I did. I did when it happened. Atheist Republic. We had a show. We said that was a great idea, that's a great thing. I said as much as I disagree with them, I agree with this move they made. I did give them credit for that. ...them with Stinger missiles and everything else to go after the Soviets inside... Look, the person that called me an idiot, look, look at this. Look at their comment. Guys, these are the people that call me an idiot. Look at their, look at what they have against me. ...at Afghanistan. The people we are fighting today, we funded. 20 years ago. In my 30 years experience of, uh, of working with these groups, actually on both ways, on both sides um, of radical groups and having been involved with them, nearly always standing behind radical groups has been a state actor or an intelligence service or, or, of a state actor. For all these decades since, we have been using Wahhabism uh, in its radicalized form in order to pursue Western. And I'm just going to uh, highlight this comment by Anmol because this is all we're watching right now. What about him? So I'm just going to highlight this comment and just going to leave it. While we watch what about him, it's just better say what about him on the screen. So we've had this deep ambivalence in Western policy where we're both in bed with terrorists and fighting them at the same time. Yeah, you got Iran. That's right. They removed. Yeah, Iran. Well, guess what? Uh, let me guess. Mossadegh, coup d'etat, right? You're like, oh, yeah, 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 they removed. Yeah, yeah. Mossadegh. Are you going to go to Mossadegh, right? Well, again, what about him? What about him? A democratically elected yep. leader, Mohammed Mossadegh. Mossadegh. And replaced yeah, of course. him with a tyrant, the Shah. All you need to do is search something called the Iran Contra scandal. 
not to mention drawing borders in Muslim lands that have caused conflicts that are even ongoing as we speak. You just need to search the Durand Line, Sykes and Pico, the Berlin Conference. I did mention some leaders that have been installed by the West. The Sh yeah, if, if Whataboutism had a face, it would look like this. Shah in Iran, I mentioned, but you've got many others, yeah? Suharto in Indonesia, who was a tyrant. Mobutu of Congo. Yep. Yeah, they what about him one them? of the worst dictators. Uh, you Savimbi of Angola. What does this got to do with Macron addressing a real problem in France that needs to be addressed? Other people did bad things. Oh no. Okay, then I guess we should not, not address this problem in France. Abacha of Nigeria, Samuel Doe of Liberia. Not to mention the drone strikes and the use of illegal oh, yeah. weaponry that decimate the population like depleted uranium that causes cancer. But half of the population of Iraq, I think, got cancer because of depleted uranium. What? Half the population of Iraq got cancer? Okay, you got, you're a moron. White phosphorus that melts the skin of whoever it drops on, all because of the West's obsession with oil. Lord Crew said in the 1920s what and the Foreign Israel. Office in 1958 that the aim was to keep Arabia divided so no one unified power could challenge. Yeah, Western. why? Yeah, <laughs> just saying he, he forgot Saudi Arabia. Yeah. But they probably say, oh, Saudi Arabia's problems also because of the West. Everything is because of the West. All the world's problems because of the West. Interests. Which is a huge topic. And, yes. and I mean, it was interesting to hear him talk about Look at the black square. <laughs> oh, no, my God. Look at the black square. There's so bad. And his skin. Oh, no. I mean, this. Okay, we'll watch this actual interview of this lady with this guy. We'll see how bad was it that they had to cover it. Islam in those terms and just say, you know, this is a religion in crisis around the world. Some people might be somewhat offended by that. Yes, but some people uh, also might say, okay, that's true. He, he's yeah, <laughs> that's a great good answer. She's like, some people might get offended by that. Like, yeah, sure. But some people also are going to say it's true. <laughs> that's a pretty good answer. Said, you know, yeah, and let's end with this a nonsensical response. That was the perfect answer. She said, like, oh, some people are going to get offended. And you're like, yeah, they will. And some people are going to think that's correct. If this point was made against discrimination of LGBT and the Jewish community, and the response was, uh, some people might say, uh, okay, that's true. You think, what on earth? No, is I would be like, yeah. Wrong with this minus. No, I wouldn't. I would be consistent. Five peanut brain uh, Mr. Potato Head looking fool. The fa Classy. Making fun of the person's look. Always the best lodge these people. The best comebacks. Making fun of a man's look. The fact that people are so obsessed with Islam, it shows that Islam is a force to be reckoned with in a positive way because let's face it, you just got a lot of evil systems nowadays. And yeah. Yeah, one of them is called Islam. Islam is the only one that's speaking against them. Nope, yeah, Islam is leading them. Refuses to change with the tide.